Dear students, welcome to today's SST class. Today we are going to learn about natural disasters. What is a disaster? A disaster is a tragedy which poses threat to life, health, property or environment. Some of the worst disasters have destroyed towns and cities and left a large number of people homeless. Earthquakes, landslides, floods, cloud bursts, tsunami, volcanic eruptions, cyclone and droughts are some natural disasters. Let us know about them along with the safety measures we should take at the time of disaster. First and foremost let us say about earthquakes. What is an earthquake? An earthquake is a sudden and violent shaking of the earth resulting in the collapse of houses and buildings on the surface. Often buildings collapse, trees, bridges and electric poles are uprooted. Nobody can predict when and where an earthquake will occur. It occurs so suddenly that no one has time even to run out to safety. Now what are the causes of earthquake? Most of the earthquake occur due to internal pressure inside the earth. The crust of the earth is made up of hard rock and the mantle is mainly lava molten rock on which the crust is floating. It is believed that the earth is divided into plates which are floating on the mantle. When two floating plates collide, the vibrations or tremors in the earth's crust occur. These sudden and devastating vibrations cause earthquakes. Now let's see the epicenter of the earthquake. The location inside the earth where an earthquake originates is called the focus and the point at the earth's surface directly above the focus is called epicenter. The effect of the tremor is greatest at the epicenter. That is why the maximum destruction occurs at and around the epicenter. Within no time houses collapse, roads are damaged and thousands of people die. Very high intensity earthquakes damage the entire cities and towns. Now let's see the precautions and safety measures in times of earthquakes. First and foremost, be sure that your house is earthquake resistant. Secondly, have fire extinguisher located on each floor. Apart from this, in case of an earthquake, rush to open space away from trees, electric wires and poles. If you are driving, move the vehicle to the side of the road away from power lines and stop. So avoid driving. If you are in a stadium, theater or auditorium, stay inside. Do not rush out towards the exit. Stay in your seat and cover your head with your arms and keep calm. When the quakes has stopped, move out of the building in an orderly manner and help the elderly people and disabled people and the children to exit the building first. Now let's see landslides. What is landslide? A landslide is a large amount of earth, rock and other material that move down a steep slope. Landslides happen when a layer of earth or rock separate from the layer below it. The force of gravity pulls the loose layer downward. Landslides can be highly destructive. They can bury or sweep away everything in their path. They can block rivers or cover the entire towns. Now what are the causes of landslide? Landslides are usually caused by heavy rain that add additional weight to the side of a slope and erosion 
as the base of the slope is slowly removed by the stream weakening the entire side of the mountain now let's see about floods what is flood flood occur when water flows or rises above and beyond its natural course and covers land that is normally dry floods are very harmful they destroy crops houses and other properties and even carry off the topsoil leaving the land barren floods happens usually in the monsoon when a river overflows its banks and water spread over the surrounding area as the rivers are unable to discharge water into the sea due to heavy rainfall or melting of snow sometimes dams or embankments collapse water overflows and gushes around with great force and floods the neighboring area now what are the precautions to be followed during the time of floods if there is a forecast of flood the following steps should be taken first be aware of the weather conditions that could prompt flooding listen to radio or tv broadcast for emergency information and evacuate immediately if told do so learn how to shut all utilities secure selves electrical appliances to a higher level plug check valves in your plumbing or prevent flood water backup and keep dry food medicines clothes and important papers in a waterproof bag and stock clean water for drinking now let's see about cloud burst a cloud burst is a sudden downpour within a radius of few kilometers it usually lasts no longer but it is capable of flooding the area and causes mass destruction and they occur mostly or often in desert and mountainous regions and in interior regions of continental land masses during a cloud burst more than 2 cm of rain may fall in a few minutes now let's learn about tsunami what is tsunami tsunami is a wave train or series of waves generated in a body of water by earthquakes landslides or volcanic eruptions tsunami can savagely attack coastlines devastating property and loss of life devastating property and loss of life tsunami may reach a maximum vertical height on shore above the sea level often called a runoff height of 10 20 and even 30 meters now let's see what are the warning and preventions now let's see warning and preventions of tsunami tsunami cannot be prevented or predicted but some warning signs and many system have been developed to reduce damage from tsunami many animals sense danger and flee to higher grounds before tsunami tree plantation could offer means of tsunami control so these are the warnings and preventions of tsunami now let's see volcanic eruptions what is volcanic eruptions a volcano is a mountain or hill having a crater or vent through which lava molten rock hot vapor and gases erupt from the earth's crust deep inside the earth is hot molten rock called magma and this magma comes up and collects in a chamber when the pressure in this chamber builds up the magma finds a release through an opening or a crack called vent in the crust of the earth when magma erupts through the earth surface it is called lava on cooling it becomes volcanic rock 
the hollow top of a volcanic that is shaped like a bowl is called crater now let's see the types of volcanoes there are various types of volcanoes particularly let's see the three types of volcanoes first active volcanoes the volcanoes that erupted recently and going to erupt again are called active volcanoes one of the examples of the active volcano is mount etna located in italy second dormant volcanoes the volcanoes that are quiet for many years and may erupt again they are called dormant or sleeping volcanoes one of the examples of dormant volcano is mount mauna kea located in a hawaii island usa and third types of volcano is extinct volcanoes the volcanoes that have not erupted for last many years and not erupt again one of the examples of extinct volcano is mount kilimanjaro in africa now let's see effects of volcanic eruptions different volcanic eruptions produce different types of effects on environment and society first and foremost volcanic eruptions contain different types of gases like sulfur dioxide hydrogen fluoride carbon dioxide hydrochloric hydrochloric acid and ashes of melted rocks these gases react with atmospheric water to produce acid rain such acid rain will not only destroy the crop but also kills living being they can cause changes in climate they cause poor visibility delays aircraft driving conditions are dangerous now let's see what are the precautions to be followed in times of volcanic eruptions in the areas of active volcanoes ship to safer places till the volcanoes have stopped erupting keep food and water for some time and switch off all electronic gadgets let's see cyclones what are cyclones cyclones are accompanied by strong winds torrential rain and and high storm tides this is often followed by heavy rain and floods the sea level suddenly rises and destroys houses and crops in coastal areas the speed of wind is so high that it uproots trees electric poles and whatever comes on its way cyclones are worst natural hazards affecting people living in coastal areas and there is a specific cyclone seasons especially in the months of april may june and october to december indian coast have faced some of the severest cyclones what are the precautions to be followed during the time of cyclones first and foremost listen to the news channel for weather forecasts and warnings move to safer places before the cyclone arrives keep enough food and water keep a first aid and essential medicine ready keep the roofs of the houses in good condition and keep phone numbers of hospitals now let's see finally about drought too much of water causes flood and too little water causes drought and drought is a condition caused by shortage of water due to the lack of rain for a long period of time now what are the causes of drought causes of drought are as follows cutting down trees not taking care of ponds and tanks 
and drawing out too much ground water. Now what are the effects of drought? Drought leads farmer to starvation, plants and animals die due to the less or no rain. Now what are the precautions to be followed? Plant more trees to help increase rainfall. Trees also help to let rainwater seep into the ground and improve the water level. Maintain natural tanks and ponds. Build new ones to store rainwater to be used when there is less rainfall. Grow drought resistant crops such as millets and maize in drought prone areas and develop proper irrigation facilities. So dear students, natural disasters can happen at any time and anywhere. At the time of disaster, the strong presence of mind is required to save the lives of those who are trapped in disasters. Okay? So that's all for today. Thank you.